My name's Jeff Thompson. I'm the Executive Chairman of the Youth Charter, which uses cultural activity, sport, culture, arts and adventure to socially engage young people, irrespective of who they look like, where they come from, to develop in life. In 2006, when South Africa were considered audacious for even thinking about bidding, everybody laughed. And I was fortunate enough, in, as part of our ongoing work, in me, knowing people like Danny Jordan, the chief exec of the local organising committee, Ivan Koza, the chairman. I mean, an absolute um, huge influence, not only by way of the bid, but then the organising committee. The, the, the sheer, I think, parallel structures that were placed around the South African effort in case they didn't deliver, in case they could not deliver, in case, you know, all the issues of corruption and no capacity. But one of the major benefits of something like this, an amazing opportunity like this, is that a World Cup leaves all of that experience, leaves all of that knowledge, and leaves a legacy of, for example, um, Joburg Airport. Arriving to Joburg Airport was almost like being in Aladdin's cavern. It really was first, first world infrastructure. Um, new roads, a whole new infrastructure, stadiums built, um, coach stops in Soweto, um, five weeks off for the kids, which Joburg had put in place, but equally provided lots of activity. There was so much happening that you, you couldn't have believed that this was, you know, this was a, a bid that many people said wouldn't stand a chance. But I think the strength of the South African effort was it was a genuine Africa effort. And once they had secured it, and I think having Madiba Mandela as the figurehead, I mean, could not see it fail because so much had been contributed by Africa to the global beautiful game. There were some ugly moments, there always are, with massive events of this, nation, of this notion. Yes, they had their strikes, yes, they had their bad press, but they've had extraordinary experiences and memories that could only happen on the African continent. The Vubuzela was criticised as being too noisy, but I remember going and watching in Soccer City the big calabash where Mandela gave his first speech when he was released in 93, 94. You know, just going back and seeing that magnificent stadium, I think it was Holland, Switzerland. And I don't think I remember seeing the game. I just kept looking at the sea of colour. The noise just went straight through you and being immensely proud as just somebody of the African diaspora. The fact that this was in Africa, this was taking place and the Vuvuzela actually being in everyone's bag as I was leaving Joburg Airport, certainly said to me, if there's one legacy I will have a tear and a smile for, the Vuvuzela, because the Horn of Africa is now everywhere throughout the world. So for me, Africa has stepped up to the plate. South Africa has definitely stepped up to the plate, knowing most of them that have overcome many difficulties of adversity, so many difficulties of mistrust, of international media negativity, and, um, all the things that go with the African continent not being able to do what it is, I think, has always been had its ability to do. No, it, it's a 9 out of 10. It's unique, as it should always be. It's memorable, and it always gives you something that you take away personally.